If you are one of the many people watching this video in hopes of getting any information for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 and having to sit there and wonder to yourself and asking, gee, when exactly is Dimps and Bandai Namco going to follow up through and giving us the definitive sequel to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 that we've desperately been asking for ever since the release of Xenoverse 2 and having to follow with all the DLCs that Dimps had given us along the way? Which credit does go out to Dimps and Bandai Namco for continuously providing us with some pretty cool DLC, but let's face facts here, the game in and of itself is dead, there's barely any replay value unless of course you're modding the game or if there's anything involving some sort of a competitive kind of situation or atmosphere involving a said group of people, if you and your friends want to go online and battle against some of the other players online, that's all fine and dandy, but the game in and of itself lacks replay value in terms of expert missions, parallel quests, and of course diversity for the game itself. Now they could follow up and give us all the DLC in the world, but does that really fix the problems that the game initially has? No. However, the potential of the game, the potential of what could be from Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 is very much still there and still alive for the developers to go on ahead and create for its consumer, but is it the right time for them to follow up and give us Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 now? No. And the reason why I say that is because for me personally, when looking at what could be from the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 game, I would much rather wait for the Xbox Scarlet and the PlayStation 5 because not only would we be getting a much suitable and better product from top to bottom in terms of storage, graphics, and what the overall game can give towards its consumers when looking at what could be from the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet. Now, the potential for Xenoverse 3's character roster is also very wide and very broad because we saw what they did in Xenoverse 2 by giving us additional DLC such as Few, Broly, Jiren, Gogeta, Kefla, God Vegeta, and many other characters that were very suitable in Dragon Ball Super. However, with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, they could ultimately expand this in giving us not only the cast from Dragon Ball Z, perhaps a few characters here and there from Dragon Ball GT, and many other additional Dragon Ball Super characters, but also they could go off and far exceed extend into the Dragon Ball hero story and grabbing characters from there. As an example, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, Cumber, Hearts, Merge Zamasu Resurrected, Grand Priest Goku, and many, many other characters from that specific story, and even going as far as introducing that story concept within Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, when looking at the overall potential the game has, it's very vast and very broad. And no, just in case you're wondering, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot isn't going to slow down the development for Xenoverse 3, as I do believe that Dimps and Bandai do have plans for the continued continuation of Xenoverse 2 because I honestly really doubt they're just going to leave it out there in the open and not giving us anything more than what we're getting right now, but then again when looking at games like Raging Blast 2 and other concepts where Bandai Namco just stopped producing any other continuation for said product, it wouldn't be outside of the realm of possibility for Xenoverse 2 to be the last Xenoverse game, but I really doubt that to be the case. Going forward, we understand that they are going to be producing and giving giving us bigger, better games than what we've seen before. Arguably, even still till this day, people will say that Fighters is better than Xenoverse, Xenoverse is better than Fighters, and vice versa. Budokai Tenkai HE3, the original Budokai series, Dragon Ball Sagas, Dragon Ball Kakarot, Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, whatever it is, people will always have a subjective opinion on it. But for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, do I think it would need to be the final Xenoverse game within the Xenoverse trilogy? Because if they plan on giving us something more down the line, then that's completely fine only if they wrap up the Xenoverse 2 story and not only having to finish off the story, but giving the fans exactly what they would pay for in terms of character customization, diverse rosters, missions for not only oneself and of course friends to play alongside with, but also a very immersive multiplayer system, creative story concept, etc, etc. And with Xenoverse having to be so 
very different in comparison to the other Dragon Ball games given the fact that it's your own time patroller having to go about correcting the flows of time, encountering enemies and adversaries that one normally wouldn't within the Dragon Ball show and or series. It's a very unique and broad spectrum to look at, but I do think that Xenoverse 3 ought to wait until the PlayStation 5 slash Xbox Scarlet, even though I do think that they could easily put out a product where it could come out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and that's all fine and dandy. For all we know, we could be getting a Xenoverse 3 game in the year 2020, and by then it'll mark the four year anniversary following the release of Xenoverse 2. But even then, people would still have a problem in waiting, but I do think in terms of waiting, for them to give us a solid product is what needs to happen. In which I will be going in depth with what I believe they need to do with the story concept, character customization, roster, and many other things in future videos, as I do encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button, and if you guys want to see Xenoverse 3, leave a like down below because I don't think this is the end. A lot of people look at Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and they say to themselves, it's the end. It's the end of Xenoverse 3, but it's not really the case when looking at the overall sales for the game itself and DLC for Xenoverse 2. Xenoverse 2 is unquestionably one of Bandai Namco's highest grossing Dragon Ball games of all time, and that's a good thing when looking at Dokkan Battle, Legends, etc, etc. So with the overall story concept, they can ultimately include snippets and little bits of detail from Super Dragon Ball Heroes involving Few, since Few is the son of Mira and Toa. They could pick up part super concepts and characters by giving us characters like Moro in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 and even giving us customizable options for your character and allowing yourself to become a Broly-like character if you want to have a rage-like form follow through with a full-powered Super Saiyan state, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, a golden transformation for your own Frieza clans race member, etc, etc. They can ultimately give us so much in which I do think they will because when looking at the progression, from Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2, there was a huge progression step in what they gave us, even though there were lots of flaws in terms of the RNG system, and there were lots of bugs, flaws, and many errors within the multiplayer system, the party system, that could easily be corrected and fixed going down the line when introducing another Xenoverse game. But by the end of it, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. What are some concepts, ideas, and introductions that you guys would give to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3? If there are any concepts, storyline ideas, roster members, whatever the case may be, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, slap a big fat like down below if you guys love Dragon Ball and really do want to see a Xenoverse 3 video game. Again, we are going to be discussing more of Xenoverse 3 on this channel alongside many other games. So if you are a fan of gaming, this is the channel for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for listening. Tune back in for more. Follow me on Twitter at Unreal Inc. Follow me on Instagram at Unreal Studios. Let's see what happens. I think that the ball right now is definitely in the court of Bandai Namco and Dimps, and I really do hope and I do expect to see somewhat of a confirmation for Xenoverse 3 going into 2020. If we don't get it by then, then I'm fairly certain that we ought to give our hopes up because by then it'll be four years. So I really do expect to see or hear more about the game going into next year. But let's just see what happens. So again, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, guys. Peace.